Hello, everyone. This is Anita in the Biz Coach. And you know, I am coming back to you with all, thing, all things grants. Let me slow it down for a minute. <laughs> I hope you all have had a wonderful Labor Day weekend and safe Labor Day weekend. I know that I labored myself all day long, but it was enjoyable for me and my family at the end. So Today, I want to share a little information about a grant that came to my attention. It is called, and it is from the Central Carolina Community Foundation. Now, I know I came across some of this lately, um, and I wasn't sure if I shared it, but I wanted to make sure that I did because I uh, see that the deadline is fastly approaching toward the end of this month. So I just wanted to make sure we get in on this one. So of course, this is, as you would probably maybe think, that it is for a particular region and it is for South Carolina. And what we're gonna do is take a little look at what are some of the information and criteria that goes along with this grant. So as you can see, the grant uh, or the website to get this information is here at the top, yourfoundation.org connect-communities-grant, okay? So let's take a look and see what's going on here they have the grant portal. So that was be where you create your profile and be able to upload the required information for the grant and the grant application. You would get to it there. I haven't done that so far. So we will just continue to get some information on what they're all about. So it says that the foundation is working to make the Midlands more connected, vibrant, compassionate, and engaged. They strive for a livable, equitable, and just community to live, work, and play and raise a family. Connected Communities grants support this work through funding innovative ideas from nonprofit organizations that will further knit our community together. So as you can see, it is for nonprofits only. This is not for businesses. Tells you a little bit about what type of grant it is. It is a challenge grant for interesting and engaging ideas to improve the community's quality of life and livability and to increase citizens or residents satisfaction and community attachment. Now it is sponsored by the John and S and James L Knight Foundation. They are one of the contributors to this. They tell you a little bit about what they fund here. It says that they uh, the projects would increase the quality of life, community attachment, and satisfaction by increasing Midlands residents' easy access. All right, so some of those things would be safe places to live and work, health care facilities and services, quality job opportunities, affordable housing, different types of high-quality recreational areas, and quality air arts and cultural events. Now they say that they give priority to projects that promote equity and incorporate policy advocacy, institutional system changes and our social justice. And it is, it prioritizes organizations outside of the Richland County and are led by black, indigenous and people of color. They tell you a little bit about some of the ideas they're looking for here. A couple of those is to raise public awareness of the area or region. Also to promote philanthropy across their region and also to enhance community connections in the Midlands are some of the ideas that they're looking for. And now, as you can see, there's a button here which you would have to click to get to those guidelines and you know i've said in the past you can use these guidelines as a checklist when you are applying for a grant so that you make sure you have all the qualifying and required documents and areas that you would need to input on this online application now here's some of the el eligibility requirements you of course have to be a 501c3 
nonprofit organization. The organization must be physically located in one of the following 11 counties in the Midlands, and they name those 11 counties there. And the organization must be registered for and participate in Midlands Gives. So you definitely have to get more information about that as well. The applicants may request up to $50,000. Now, when they say that this is a challenge grant, they explain that a little bit more in detail here. Funds are only available in the form of challenge grants. The challenge portion must generate an additional 30% of the award from the community foundation. The foundation will not accept a transfer of internal funds or non-tangible in-kind contributions. So basically what that is saying is when it says non-tangible in-kind contributions, it has to be tangible. So it has to be something that, you know, cash or um, other things that are tangible, maybe staff. So you're donating staff time to this program um, and it cannot be, it says cannot be transferred of internal funds. So the funds cannot come from within your organization. They have to come outside. So that could be also, let's say for instance, of course, other grants, donors, sponsorships, things of that nature that comes from outside of your organization, okay? All right, so they even have some uh, frequently asked questions here. Then they have their uh, timeline for the grant. The round one applications are open from September 1st to September 30th. Round two applications are open, but only by invitation. That means they would have to invite you to participate in round two. January 10th and 11th is when round three finalists presentation is, and that's by invitation only as well. Then February 7th of 2023, organizations are notified of application status. And then the project timeline would have to begin by March the 1st of 2023 to February the 28th, 2023. So that just says that you'd have to start between that time. And then you would get some more information, of course, uh, when you download or check out their guidelines, okay? And then of course they have the button here to apply and then you can turn up to the top. So this is an awesome opportunity. And as you can see, they have other things here. You can check out scholarships and perhaps other grant opportunities. So as I've always said, it's great to be able to look within your community to see what type of funding is actually in your city, in your state, in your county even when it comes to grants and grant funding. So I hope that this has been helpful to you. If it's something that you think that someone else would be um, beneficial for them, please, please pass on the information because we want everyone to be able to get the funding they need to expand and grow their business and nonprofits, okay? I appreciate you all's time. I hope this has been valuable for you. And again, this is Anita in the Biz Coach coming to you live and in color, even though you can't see me, <laughs> but I am definitely here for you to help with all things grants, okay? Keep in mind that I have my free masterclass this Thursday 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you need more information on that, send me an email, catch up with me on social media. And you know that is Anita in the Biz Coach on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And so until next time, I look forward to then. You guys stay safe.